Interac, that familiar logo you see on your bank card at thousands of ABMs and hundreds of thousands of merchants across the country. It's Canada's favorite way to pay. And no wonder. It's quick, it's convenient, it's direct access to your money, no matter where or when. But most importantly, it's simple. Using the pin pad, you just follow the prompts and you've made your purchase. So the pin pad is obviously the critical link. No surprising that criminal minds have been looking for ways to compromise this process and defraud your customers. This is clearly not a good thing. Fraudulent activity can undermine the relationship you've established with your customers. It can damage the good name you rely on to build your business. Fortunately, with education and vigilance, those on the front lines will know what to look for, and fraud can be successfully thwarted. Today we'll review a number of techniques fraudsters typically use, how you can stay several steps ahead of them by spotting the signs of pin pad tampering, and what you should do when you believe that fraudulent activity has taken place. So let's take a closer look at the pin pad. This is how your customers access their bank accounts to pay for merchandise or services. And it's that access to bank account information that criminals are most often after. In order to succeed, criminals require two key pieces of information. They need the data that's stored on the magnetic stripe of your customer's bank card, plus the customer's PIN number. So how do they go about getting these? Sometimes the fraudster works alone, but more often they will work in pairs or in groups. One fraudster will try to lure frontline personnel away from the cash register or partially block their view of the pin pad using a large object or sometimes several objects. While this is happening, the second fraudster will pocket your existing pin pad and replace it with a similar one. Then the original stolen pin pad is equipped with data capturing equipment and covertly returned to your cash counter. Once returned, this altered device will be left in place for weeks and sometimes months. Your customers will then use this compromised device for their Interact debit purchases, unaware that the thieves are capturing their bank card information in the process. The second most widely used technique involves the use of hidden equipment, like miniaturized card readers designed to collect critical data from the magnetic stripe, in tandem with pinhole cameras, which are used to visually record a customer's actual pin entry. Whichever method they use, the thieves' next step is the same. They create a counterfeit bank card and use this to gain access to your customer's money from their bank accounts. You might be thinking, what about chip technology? Isn't that a foolproof form of protection? Chip debit cards represent a new generation of payment card technology that will make our safe payment system even more secure. The card's embedded microchip provides an additional layer of security and makes it virtually impossible for fraudsters to duplicate. However, it will still be a while before all cards and terminal readers are converted to chip technology. So we're looking at the here and the now. And although terminal readers are currently being updated to chip technology, card data can still be captured at a chip terminal. This is why it's so important that everyone remains vigilant during this time. Why? Well, for starters, the biggest change for cardholders is the way in which they conduct a debit transaction. For years, cardholders have become so used to swiping their debit card that it's almost second nature. So, when the time comes for them to conduct a chip transaction, a lot of the times, cardholders will forget to insert their card first and will swipe their card instead. Unfortunately, however, this unnecessary swipe of the card increases the potential of card information being skimmed from the magnetic stripe. So, there's a lot to be alert to. And while criminals typically choose to operate unseen and undetected, that isn't always the case. It's not easy for a criminal acting alone to swap devices, so be on your guard for anyone who tries to involve you in their illegal activities. You may be asked to look the other way as a pin pad is removed, rewired, and then replaced. You may even be offered a cash incentive if you do so, and they may tell you that there's no risk to you and that no one will ever know. But the law takes a different view. Anyone helping a criminal is committing a crime. As an employee involved in payment card fraud, you can be fired, that's all but certain. You can also be fined, and you could end up doing time. So these are all bad options. Never get involved. The better idea is to listen very carefully to any offer a criminal might make, remember everything you can about the physical appearance of that individual, record their license plate if that's possible without putting yourself at risk, then tell your manager and contact the police. And better still, 
To all those who choose to do the right thing, you may be eligible for a monetary reward, courtesy of the Interact Fraud Prevention Rewards Program. If you find a pin pad that you suspect has been compromised and take the necessary steps to report it, you may be eligible for a $100 gift card. Our thank you to you for your efforts in helping us fight debit card fraud. So what have we established? The pin pad is critical. It's as good as cash. But the fraudsters know this and will go to great lengths to use it to their advantage. So how can we keep it from becoming the scene of the crime? Let's take a look at some ways now. You may be sharing the job of minding the cash with one or more coworkers or working in shifts. At the start of each shift, you or your manager should conduct a thorough pin pad security check. Let's take a look now to see what that involves. Sometimes it requires taking a closer inspection of a pin pad to reveal evidence of tampering. Some pin pads are tethered with a security cable to the cash counter. A missing or disconnected cable can also spell trouble and again should be reported immediately. The same goes with pin pads located on a security stand. If screws are loose or missing, this is another possible indication that the pin pad has been tampered with. Many businesses will affix a security sticker to the side of the pin pad device. These stickers may be proprietary to each merchant or may be supplied to them by Interact Association. There may also be security stickers covering the screws that hold the device together. So here's another clue. If any of these stickers is missing or damaged, it may be an indication of tampering and you should report it right away to your manager and payment service provider. Now flip the pin pad over and check the back. You'll notice a unique serial number specific to the unit. Is it the same as previously recorded? Remember, serial numbers of all devices should match up with the ones you have on record. Numbers that don't match may spell trouble and should be reported right away. Check for signs of attempted forced entry such as pry marks, missing screws or holes, broken parts, unusual overlays on the keypad or mismatched keys, and that extra stickers have not been added. If the pin pad was working earlier and now you find it no longer works, stop using the device and report the situation to your manager immediately, as this may be a sign of pin pad tampering. Finally, keep an eye out for unexplained wires or other devices which mysteriously appear in and around the checkout area. Remember that pinhole cameras can be concealed in ceiling tiles, walls, even counter display materials, and these can let fraudsters observe the actual entry of your customer's pin numbers, exactly what the fraudsters are looking for. At the end of the day, fraud costs everyone, but it impacts two groups in particular. The customers who discover that their bank cards have been compromised, and you, the merchant who risks losing the trust of your customers, and in turn, your business. But you can help us put the brakes on fraud by routinely carrying out some simple fraud prevention measures and routine site inspections. And to assist you, Interact Association has printed materials available, which you can use to educate any who haven't the time to screen this video, or just to keep on hand for reference when the need arises. Being aware of your environment and regularly checking your pin pad are among the best ways to protect your business and your customers. And if for any reason you have doubts or concerns about the condition of your pin pad, always let your manager know. Remember, caution is key. So on your watch, exercise vigilance and be a fraud fighter. By teaming up on fraud prevention, not only can you help us prevent debit card fraud, you may even reap your own reward. <laughs>